usually I refrain from uh, publishing this kind of material to the web. So all you see is just like kata. But right now, this is what we have to do. Uh, so the plus and minuses of various knives and how they affect the way that I utilize them, that I use them. So uh, let's start with this, okay? So this is the worst kind of knife. This is Opinel. It's a very, very traditional knife, not so expensive. So first to open it, you have to use two hands. Then you have to do this. And then it is so weak that if I stab someone in the skull and I didn't penetrate the Q show point, then it, it will break. So this is out of the question, uh, unless I'm in a situation. And uh, we'll go on. OK, this is a, a fancy knife, but just holding it, I can feel the tongue goes until here. So that means, again, I will try to defend myself, and the knife will break here, OK? So again, one knife out of the question. But sometimes knives are for good feeling, OK? Inner quality of life. Uh, and, and now this, this is like absolutely almost useless, OK? Unless I want to eat clams or something like this. OK, first of all, uh, the the handle is not is not natural, and then if I if I can stab somebody, not sure that I can. If I can stab somebody, then the stab wood will be shallow, and I will be, have a lot of difficulty extracting the knife for a second penetration. Why? Because of this uh, thing that's maybe for fish or I don't know why. But so again, one knife that might look enticing, but it's not so good. And uh, this is my own pocket knife, okay? So I can open it with one hand, but this is a very bad knife. It's very cheap, but very bad knife. First of all, why? Look, it has serrations here. So the serrations mean that if I stab somebody in the rib cage or in the sternum, uh, to extract the knife, I have to put the leg on the body and extract it like this. So again, not so good, but uh, good for good feeling, and if I know what to do, because with such a small knife, okay, then I have to stab multiple times and to try to cut to the neck or to the chest area again, just to defend myself against somebody who might be holding a gun, okay? Which in Israel is no legend. It just happened a few weeks ago. So how do I neutralize someone like this with this knife, I think this is not my first choice. But again, if I'm detained and I have this knife, wow, this is fantastic. Good for quality of life and good for defending myself, even though to stab someone with this knife and being able to neutralize him immediately, very difficult. Why? Because it's so small. So it necessitates me being very accurate. But let me show you the Akban knife. Okay, so first of all, the Akba knife is printed and numbered, okay? And uh, it's actually the CRKT, okay, uh, knife. The, the tongue goes up until to the pommel. And the length of the knife, please come, uh, Matan, with your back to the camera, okay? Okay, so the length of the knife is that from any point in the rib cage or here, it will reach the heart, okay? So one stab is enough. Also look at the silhouette of the knife. It's got very strong back, okay? And no teeth at all, nothing fancy, okay? And uh, it will penetrate and get out immediately. Also, because sometimes we must not only stab but cut, it has a slight curve, and this curve allows me to cut flesh and to penetrate with this knife, if it's well sharpened, about one, one and a half centimeters into the flesh. And that means that if I cut to the neck, then I almost probably would be able to cut to the carotid artery, but that does not mean the person will be neutralized, okay? After being cut to the carotid, 
okay? The person is not neutralized. He is neutralized only if the knife penetrates the chest area or other places that we in Akba know of and that I will not make public in this video. Another thing is the lack of a cross guard here. So this is a detriment. Why? Because if something uh, is very hard and I stab it, my hand might slip and I will cut all the flexor tendons. But this one has got fantastic rubber grip that I tried even wet. It will not slide. So I really like this one, the Hisatsu of CRKT. Uh, sorry, uh, nobody paid me anything to do this uh, video. On the contrary, we bought everything with our own money. So no tongue. And what it, no tongue helps me with? It helps me to put the knife underneath a t-shirt, OK? And it's easier to put it underneath a t-shirt, OK? Because this is in Israel, OK? And animals, worse than animals, are going around. And I need the knife on me. So just drawing the knife, lifting the t-shirt and drawing the knife here or here, much better without a cross guard. So this is my preference. It's not an expensive knife. I think $100 worth every penny. Uh, go get it. And uh, maybe later on, I'll just film a few uh, techniques that are appropriate for YouTube, because most of the techniques that uh, have to do with knife in Akban are not I'm holding the knife and somebody is holding the knife too, because this is pure stupidity. Two people holding a knife and fighting, both of them will get cut. One maybe will be dead, and both of them will get cut. So I need the knife not to fight. I need the knife to protect myself and to neutralize somebody as fast as I can. So this is, I would say, an assassin weapon. But no, it's a self-protection weapon for families, a knife. It's one step below having a handgun.